Hey, Prepping101, how you doing, brother? Long time no see. Thank you for coming. Hey, Prepping101, how you doing, brother? Oh, give me a second. I've got to mute my YouTube side. I just, I didn't even have the chance to advertise or anything. You're just like, I'm just going to share my screens out and you're there. Thank you for coming. I just got a really nice um, steel dra dragon striker, you know, striker for splitting steel that, I, that I'm giving away on Thursday. And I just want to see who's interested in, you know, trying to win it. Hey, Heath, how you doing, brother? Yeah. Uh, oh, let me show you what, what I'm giving away. Maybe you might be interested, in, you know. Well, let me get it out here. This is what I'm giving away on Thursday. This way. That makes it a dragon. As you can see, it, you know, custom fire striker, steel striker, with a you know pile edge, so you can use it for maybe sharpening your knives, whatever, what have you. You could use it as a blanket pin if you have a pin, you can go with it. You, you know, starting fires obviously, and you could probably use it for defense if you really wanted to. Yep. Yes, you can get a wrench. Give me a moment. I haven't had a chance to do that yet. You will get a wrench. Wait, wait, wait. Why you do not have a wrench yet? Give me a second. Maybe I'm on the wrong side. Oh, that's probably why. There you go. You have a wrench. As you can see, it's, it's a really nice one. And it comes with... A really piece, of, good piece of chert. We don't have flint in Iowa, so this is what we got. And I th I'm throwing in some char cloth. I didn't want to char up the the Altoids tin before you, whoever got it, they can make their own after that. In addition to the Altoids tin, it comes in this nice little canvas bag. Yes, it says pancake mix. I do a lot of rendezvous, so this is like a rendezvous setup, or bushcraft, depending on what you want to do. And it does come with a, more than a few that wood there. That's my giveaway thing. <laughs> <It's my package. laughs> Thank you. I really appreciate it. I, I mean, I mean. I, last week, I gave away a um, an archery glove. I got a, uh, uh, a, another one just like it uh, right here. Shooting glove for archery. And um, Jeff Jackson, one of my uh, people who follow me here, won it. And... This is actually the exact same one. I actually found two of these secondhand. This is a new old stock. I got pictures of him trying it on. So it's actually pretty cool. Hey, Cecilia. I uh, got a uh, comment generator like I did on Thursday of last week. Um, I You have to and go to last week's uh, live and on the that live, there'll be a word that I will say, say at the end of the video, and you will comment that word in the comment section below that video. It is uh, well messy at the moment because we're we're still unpacking. I mean, it's going to take a while for us to unpack, but it is an amazing, amazing place. I mean, I can give you a small, give me a second here. A lot bigger than the uh, hotel room. There's the fireplace <laughs> and our TV up there. I'm not going to give you a picture of the dining room right now because it is 
got boxes upon boxes upon boxes of stuff we haven't unpacked yet. Yep. I think you already you are subscribed or uh, entered that to that one, Heath. So I can double check to make sure. But I will put the link to the uh, video so you'll know uh, which one it was that you have to do to enter to win the uh, fire striker. Uh, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I should, should have changed that. It's been the second of two giveaways. I've already, you know. Well, this, that's I'll be this Thursday. I'll be doing that. Uh, okay, so this is the link of the video. If I get this thing to link here. Oh, copy. There we go. There's the link to my uh, video for that. Just, you know, find the word. Comment down below. You must be a subscriber and you must be a uh, present to win because um, I just don't have the time to go through every, all the comments trying to find someone who's not on at the moment. Uh, but if you do have the, the win, you're in the ch there, but you're not um, actively chatting, like say you're just like listening, because I have a lot of people who do. But they're there. They do chat from you know, intermittently. Uh, then uh, that still counts. Hey, Rogue. Thank you for coming. Yes, I I know Rogue's entered. Cecilia's entered. Frontier's entered. So if you want to go do that, please do do that. I'm just trying to drum up people. Right now we have 15 entries so far. Individual entries. And um, I will be checking intermittently trying to make sure I got enough people to do it and I'll be probably drawing about if I, my, I start my live stream at 8 p.m. Central Time and um, I will be going doing the drawing probably around 9 Central that way I make sure enough people are in the room or have enough entries to do the drawing and I will be sending that one out as, as soon as I can get the person's contact information. Uh, I sent uh, Jeff Jackson's archery glove to him on Friday and he got it on Monday. So I don't know how long it's going to be for that one to go. But, I mean, it depends on who wins it. I mean, we got people as far as Australia, we got Canada, we have a whole bunch of people entered. So it'd be interesting to see who wins it. Yes, I know, Rogue, you're definitely good at lurking. Hey, Evan. How you doing, brother? Thank you for saying that, Cecilia. I really appreciate it. I got to make sure I got that before I can see the chat. So pop out chat right there. Mac, what are you doing? Yeah, I hear you. It takes a week from U.S. to Canada. Okay. I was wondering, because you're not the only uh, Canadian entered, Cecilia. Uh, Sean from North, uh, North Shore is uh, entered as well. Kitty already had treats. He got them when we got home from work. <laughs> Definitely beats a hotel prepping. Definitely. Um, it's just, um, I mean, I literally was going downhill health wise being in that hotel. I mean, I, my legs developed edema from sitting in one place. No one. Okay, so at least I was. We know if either one of you win, you know who's gonna. You know, you at least you get to see it in person. Um, my, I actually have three giveaways prepping that you probably haven't seen yet. The third one is a backpack travel bag with an extra additional backpack. It's an Eagle Creek travel gear. I'm not sure if you've heard of it. 
but it's got two backpacks. It's got the main backpack, which is a really nice backpack. Even though it may look blue in the light on my screen right now, it is actually green. Don't ask me why. Don't know. But this thing packs up, it zips up where it looks like a uh, suitcase. And it's got YKK zip zippers and everything. It's a little, a little older model because it doesn't come with a hydration system. But I'm sure in a pinch, it will make a really good either get home bag or something to that effect. Because when you've got it like this, it looks like a regular suitcase. So, and duffel bag. So, it's actually pretty cool. That giveaway is not is not this week, Rogue. This one is next week. This is my final and last giveaway for this month. Is this one right here? I figured I'd do one a week and go from there. Well, you have you can enter too, prepping. Not a problem. You are you are you follow me. You are all you have to do is uh. I guess like, share, and enter the the uh, code word in the comment section below, and I'll be drawing on Thursday. I do not know who's going to win it, and I hope whoever wins it enjoys it. I picked it up for a song, so it was, those things are not cheap. We looked them up; they're probably well over a hundred bucks a piece. That's used, so. Nope, you did not miss it, Rogue. Not at all. <laughs> oh, Cecilia, you say you're all, you're going to win everything. Then it ends up being Jeff. Don't, well, I'm, I'm, Jeff is actually abstaining from the uh, the Dragon uh, Steel Striker this week. He said if his name comes up, he didn't win it. Pick somebody else. Okay, so if you if your name if you want to enter and you want to, you know we can donate it to somebody else we can just do that. I understand you don't want to give out your address. That's perfectly fine. But as you know, it's a really good system, and like I said, I do a lot of rendezvous and medieval reenactments and stuff. And I thought this would work great for a bushcraft bag. Keep your you know whatever tender your you can your bird's nests in here or whatever. Tinder that you want to collect in here. Just the striker. <laughs> wow. Must be nice. Our new Jeep uh, died a while back. And uh, then we got another vehicle. Then that one lost a tire. Then we got the one we have now. So... <laughs> But right now we have a, um, a GMC something Envoy. It's two wheel, four wheel drive, uh, six cylinder, gets great gas mileage, and can tow like nobody's business. Striker is this week, the backpack is next week. I was just taking them some pictures. Of, of the backpack just a little while ago. Let me see. What it was. I'm not sure. If my... I'm not sure if you guys can see this very well. It might be a little bit too bright. That's the backpack. And no, it's not blue. It, it's actually green. <laughs> it fits me, and I'm pretty big. Hey, Don, how you doing? Thank you for coming. I'm just, you know, drumming up people for you know for the contest. Let me see how many people who's interested in it. The Steel Strikers got a lot of interest. Um. I'm just going to call it a dragon striker because it just 
That's what it looks like. Are you entering the the drawing, Don? Because I know Cecilia entered, I know Rogue entered, I know uh, Heath from uh, Frontier survived, you know, Frontier did. Congrats! I will tell you this. I know what you're going through. I, it happened to me two times before. First time, eh. Second time gave me Ian, and the third one stuck. So, hey, Mike, how you doing, brother? It took me three times to get it right. And I end up with somebody amazing. You better believe it. By the way, Cecilia, um, as soon as I get a hold of uh, Jenny, she's got a bunch of yarn she needs to show you. And she wanted to know if you would be interested in... Oh, man. I, give me a moment. I've got to talk to her because she knows what she wants to talk to you about. I don't. Okay, sorry about that. I had to tell her while she was getting dressed for that. Okay, I'm back. Rob, Rob, yes, the person I want to talk to. Yes, I was looking for, did you get my message? Brother, are you free this weekend? Cornfed, are you free this weekend? Dang. JV from JV Outdoors is coming and we're going fishing. I just thought you might be interested. Dang, I was hoping you would be free. My condolences, Cecilia. Actually, I lost... Uh, both my parents back in 99. So I, I don't not quite know what, what it is, but Cecilia, Jenny's going to show you something pretty. Uh, she's getting something that she's going to ask you about. And I don't know anything about it, but she does. It's going to be a, in addition to the yarn that she's got. If you already have one, that's cool. If you don't and they are interested, we can send it along. Um, She's trying to dis discombobulate. What kind of show? Congrats, Mike. Happy 30th. Oh, I bet. Cecilia. What's it called, hon? It's a round. Okay. Ooh, that's right. I forgot.
You have trouble getting it together? Or? Yeah, I'm trying. You need my help? Is it a hand strength thing or is it just more a finesse thing? Well, if, sorry, I didn't realize you were doing that. Otherwise, you know, uh, you know, have you come down? We can do some fishing in this area since you know the ponds in this area. Jenny's trying to put it together. Well, it's this loom, but it's like a little tray that goes around the loom. I've got these two cubbies. And, this, and there's different sizes. So you could put this in there and then weed. Yep. Uh, JB's bringing his uh, daughters, and I'd be I'm bringing my boy. And we're just going to try out fishing in this area. And I need your experience for about the fishing in this area because you know the fishing spots. Oh, yeah. So this Jenny wants to give to you, Cecilia, the, the, the loom. If she wants. If you want it, we can send it along. In, in, we're giving, uh, we're going to be sending you a bag of yarn plus this thing. I tried doing it. I just can't get the hang of it. Here, let me. Okay. Yeah. This is what it is. The loom for you. We don't know if you had one or not. I think it's missing some pieces, then. Yeah. But. It's probably in the bag. Which are, yeah, probably in the bag. But Jenny can send you this with along with some extra yarn and all the yarn that you guys could pick out together. And we'll do, we'll do a FaceTime on Facebook about that. Do you use small or big yarns or both? Oh. Both. So that's why I need you to get you guys on Facebook where you guys can actually chat for a while and just figure it out for yourselves. I'm just the middleman. Man. Cecilia was only with her husband for five years before she lost him. Back in 2011. I'm sorry, you heard that. Okay, um, I'm fishing just a fish. Bass would be cool. Crappie is always cool. I don't know if there's what else is in like Q Pond and or the any other pond or the one over by the casino other than what you just told me. Yes, Facebook's still around, Mike. So we're gonna be doing a little bit of fishing, a little bit of video talking, a lot of talking. But uh, as I told JV, I'm not much of a fisherman. I'm more of an archer. Same here. <laughs> I, I've, I've, I'm, I do have Instagram. That's usually just to send messages to people about, usually about this. <laughs> Uh, no, this one is here in Iowa, Rogue. Corn is from is from here. Oh, um, next month on the twenty first, I believe. Um, yeah, the twenty first of uh, August. I don't know what you if you know your schedule or not. I am getting doing a get together for archery over at Lake Red Rock, at the Red Rock Archery Range. If you're interested, I heard they're draining a quabby, but I don't live in a near near a Milo anymore. Uh, I've actually do a lot of things on two things. I got my laptop, which I use. I do all this on. And then I got my cell phone. That's it. Jenny has her laptop. She has her tablet. And she has her phone. 
and when we can get it hooked up, which we haven't done, so yes, I'm gonna mention something really old. We got a PS3. Yeah, we're old school right now. <laughs> Well, we do. Some, I'll bring a m bunch of bows. We do some shooting. We do some cooking. We do some hanging out. We do some videos. I think we can have some fun and try to keep you and JV away from the lake. We like trying to, you know, keep a bird from flying. Oh, we have a PS2 as well, Evan. But but, but that's all we have. We don't have a PS. Four. We do not have Xbox. We don't have any of that stuff. So this is what we've got. And but I will admit that this laptop is a gaming, an older model gaming laptop. So if you want to do that, we can set it up. We can figure out who's bringing what, and all this other stuff. We can bring bring a ton of charcoal and just go to town, and just ooh, burgers, dogs, brats. Hun, can you do potato salad? Oh, Jenny says you can make potato salad. It's not even. It's over a month away, and I'm still. It's making me hungry. So, uh, you have my, my phone number, don't you, Rob? I thought I did at one time. I had yours. I'm not sure. Oh, his wife, Horn's wife, makes German potato salad. Ooh. Ooh. That's going to be interesting. You make what? Salad. Oh, Jenny knows how to make deviled egg potato salad, whatever that is. Okay, I want to make sure bef bef before you we disconnect tonight, uh, contact me on. I think we got you. You got my email or you got my Facebook. I'm not sure which. We'll contact. Heaven, if you want to come and you can make it here on the 21st of next month, we will get together and we'll do potato. You can have your fill of potato salad, brother. And, well, brats and hot dogs and burgers and whatever else we can think of. Hey, Grace. Thank you for coming. Oh, Rob. Rob uh, did I show you about the... There's a, I'm doing a giveaway on Friday. Oh, Thursday, Thursday. I'm doing a giveaway. Um, yeah, you might be interested. Um, I'm doing a giveaway on Thursday. I'm going to show you before you disappear. Uh, this dragon, fi you know, steel sh sh fire striker. See, there's the dragon head. You can see it a little bit better, you know, like that. It's got a file. It's made out of a file, obviously. You know, it's your standard st striker. It comes with a really nice piece of shirt and a Altoids tin with char cloth. And you'll get a kick out of this. It comes in a canvas bag. Yes, it is pancake mix. <laughs> you can't buy it. You got to win it. And it comes, you know, with fat wood. And it's got enough room in there you can put in and uh, put in your uh, tinder bundles or whatever it is that you want to put in there. This is what I'm giving away on Thursday. You have to go to last week's video to get the code word. Comment it below in the comment section, not in the chat, The that word, and I will draw this Thursday for the winner. So, 
this is what I, that's what I'm giving away. I've got another giveaway. That's not until next week, but this is this week's giveaway. This Thursday, 8 p.m. is when my chat starts Central Time, which you already know, and the giveaway is going to be at 9 p.m. Central Time. So hopefully enough people's in, and you must be a member. Uh, uh, you know, just knock set it or hook set it, depending on whatever you want to call it. You must be present and all that other fun stuff. Hey, Blake, how you doing, brother? Where did I get it? I have a friend of mine who does rendezvous and has a a um, a booth that he does, he's a vendor, and I picked it up at the last Renaissance Fair, and he had more, but I just didn't have enough money to buy all that he had. So I bought the one I got. He had at least one more, and um, he said he was ordering more because I told him I wanted to buy more. So and he's not too far from him. He's an Iowa one. He's my friend Snake. My last live of Thursday. I posted it up earlier. Uh, give me a second. I will post the link to that again. That way, you'll know which video it was. It was on this video right there. Be well, brother. See you soon. Well, hurry back. Thank you for coming. So, so yeah, just to let you know, uh, once you and Jenny start talking yarn, I'm going to phase out because you guys will be talking for hours. Oh, stop it. That hurt, man. No, that hurt. That's the way it works there, hon. He does that. Huh. Let me check. Um, let me check my um, Facebook real quick. I know we contacted each other. We, 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 we called each other and everything. Yeah. Let me see here. Let me try some else. Okay. All right, okay. Uh, contact me on Facebook under Colin Kincaid. Um, we'll go from there. Let me check. Let me let me check. Let me check. Let me check. I got to go down my friends list. <laughs> I know I have you. I just got to find you. I got a lot of friends. Let's see here. That's not it. Rob, 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 Rob. Rob. Going down my list. Still going. Oh, man. I didn't realize I had that many people. Uh, nope, that's not it. 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 Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Okay, I must be doing something stupid. Okay, I am stupid. I got to figure out a way to do it. Hey, Jeff. By the way, I got pictures of Jeff wearing the uh, archery glove. He sent he sent them to me. I will you know, actually show you guys the pictures of that one.
Oh, okay, here, I'll share it with you guys. There's the, him wearing the, the glove. and it, oh, That's the truck I spoke. And it fits him pretty good. And there we go. That's, yeah, he, he received it on Monday. Hey, Grace. I'll give you my phone number when, uh, when I email you. That way we can keep track of each other fat better. Cool. Let me get there. And... What am I doing? Stop that. Where the heck? Okay. Just contact me on Facebook. Then we'll go from there. So, um, like I said, uh, I'm doing the giveaway on Thursday at 8 p.m. is when I'm, my live is. My drawing is starting at 9. Uh, let me check. I mean, I think I might already have you uh, as a friend. That's the thing. Uh, let me see here. Let me check my phone. My phone might have it better. Okay, Rob, I got you. Okay. Okay, I got gotcha. you. Okay, that way is fast. <laughs> okay, now um, I was just you know showing people off. I will try if I if there's more interest in this fire striker, dragon striker. I will see about getting some more. No guarantees because they do sell fast. Um, it also depends on. The person who makes them and what kind of turnaround he has. So, uh, okay, now, welcome, and I'm back. Okay, now. What's new with you guys? You know what's going on with me? Cecilia knows that she's going to be getting a, a new loom for, with along with her yarn. And that's going to be something that her and Jenny are going to have to go over on, um, on Facebook. Love? Yes. You're probably going to have to friend her on Facebook. So you guys can do your uh, live ch stream chats where you can show off her, your yarn and stuff. Okay, so Cecilia, if you have your Facebook uh, handle that you, you you know that we can okay, uh, well, if you didn't use your real name, okay, 
No, if you didn't, they would have been a lot easier. But, okay. Because I don't want to post your real name in the chat. Okay, Bookworm Jenny. Huh? Facebook.com. What? Bookworm Jenny at Facebook.com. Uh, check out Bookworm Jenny at Facebook.com. Is that all one word? Yep. Okay. I know I have you, but it, yeah, the, this is the thing is between you and her, so you'd be good talking to her. So um, let me check here. Yep, I got you right now. Uh, her name is Cecilia. Well, hun. Just add her to your Facebook, then you can talk to her directly. She's going to be adding you, and then she'll take, you know, that way you guys can kind of talk to about the things you're going to talk about. That's the transaction between you two. Already, I'm already got your page already up. And I've got messages from, uh, yep. There we go. No, oh, no, no, no. She kept her uh, last name, Don. Because when we got married, she was still going to uh, college, and all her student loans were under her, her maiden name, so she decided to keep it. Even though she has said that she will change it to mine eventually. <laughs> That's what she, her words. Eventually. Yes, we know. Um, she says you and I you and her are going to be talking a lot about yarn because yarn talk is addicting, she says. Okay. okay. Well, what I paraphrase what she said. Yarn talk can take over, is what she said. Literally. Oh, yeah. So I say addicting, same thing. Like me and archery. So um, I will keep you guys informed on if I do get any more strikers in. No guarantees. I have to wait to hear back from my friend Snake. No, her real name is Jenny. Actually, Jennifer. I almost went, had a peanut moment. Let's, I'm trying to figure out how you, how peanut would say your name instead of saying well, Jeff. Exactly, exactly the way you just said it. <laughs> I'm glad to hear it. I'm, you sound very happy, Dawn, and I'm. I'm really happy for you. It's it's mine too, Mike. When I actually when I backpack, I'd rather carry a flint and steel than I would a lighter. Because they always work. And I per, per, personally I prefer my personal one over this one, but mine's bigger and it fits my hand better, but I did a lot of research before I got that one and stopped in at my friend Snake's booth annoyingly too many times. Jeff, that archery glove looks like it fits you pretty good to me. Now, I'm going to show you guys some stuff that's not mine. This is this is Ian's. This is one of his uh, 
arm guards. Somehow, some way, I ended up with a couple of his arm guards down here by my by my chair. You got this one here, got a little design on it right there, and this one here. Mine is like three times bigger than this. Excuse me. Well, to say I do have a second one. Just saying. I might give it away soon. Now, uh, see here. Maybe I can get somebody up here. Okay. Strings can slap you, Cecilia. And I have really nice big forearms as you I'm not sure if you guys can see that uh, see if I can, yeah there you go that's my forearms and this right here I help pull really heavy bows and it getting hit hit hard Uh, Jeff, uh, my thought actually is since it is an older style glove and it's been sitting for a while, it may have shrunk in the package. So it, it can't happen. Um, so let me try that. Uh, let me show you my arm guard. This is my arm guard. It looks a little flat because I carry it in my backpack with me wherever I go. But I had it fitted to my forearm. Because I had trouble finding one that wouldn't slide, wouldn't uh, bunch up, and would cover from wrist to elbow. As you can see, it laces up all the way up. And it goes from wrist to elbow. Because this is where I usually get hit, is right here. And when my bows hit, they leave blood welts. Be well, Don. Thank you for coming. Look forward to seeing you. <clears throat> I'm not sure if I've showed you guys my my personal preference on arrows, even though I, I'm not sure if you, I've showed you my new ones, but I've got my ones I prefer, the ones I won. Because I actually use a four fletch is what my preference is. And um, like I said, this is custom fitted, made for me. He measured around my forearm and everything. So, hey, Don. Thanks for coming. I have it laced like this. That way I can just tighten it up one-handed. I can shoot without hitting my forearm because of techniques I know. But I like the color green. It's, I mean, the edging is really nice, as you can see. The guy did an amazing job. I've actually used this when I um, broke my wrist on this side. I broke this wrist once <laughs> at work. Let me see here. I'm, 
show you guys some of my arrows that I, get, that I use. If I go through my arrows, my, my bows, it'll, I'll be, we'll be here all night because I've got so many of them. Okay, I'm going to tell you some arrows to avoid. But you can, they will work with some modifications. This one here is a Chinese arrow. I had got a dozen arrows, really cheap, 40 bucks from Amazon. The tips were junk. They were, it was not tapered at all in the end. It was not, um, the knocks were pretty much straight on. I had to taper everything, but I changed them over and I end up using them for, these are my ones I use for hunting. Uh, of the, the 12 I bought, only one, well, 11 of them were fine. The, left, the, nine, the 12th one wasn't on, I mean, met, meant for the bow I was using. These are the arrows I prefer to use. My four fletch. Cedar arrows. Right now they just got field points on it, 125 grain field points. Yeah, I do shoot with a bracelet on. I usually generally, Evan, I tuck it underneath my uh, arm guard. It would fit better if I would have gave Cliff, better measurements of my wrist. I kind of ballparked it, <laughs> so it is a little big, but I can shoot with my, my my bracelet on. Well, you could get one of these, and it should help. I mean, like I said, when I broke my wrist. I broke one of the metatarsals in my wrist. Um, I, you know, used wore it on this hand, and it, it keeps me. You know, I kept my wrist straight and everything else. My new arrows are not in here. Where the heck are? That's my quiver. Where's my arrows? Oh, there they are. They're kind of hiding. These are the newest ones. I got. I won earlier this year. I had to get them fletched. I like my four fletch, like I said. The whole thing's about 430 grain total weight. Uh, these are Easton 400 grain arrows. Carbon, they're the, the Easton Nemesis. Personally, I think I need the either the 300 grain or lower because they'd be better for my bow. You're most welcome, Canyon. Congrats. I'm just showing off some stuff for the, you know, some archery stuff, you know, that I've got. And I got something that I think is really funny. Where's it at? I know it's, I found it on here. Oh yeah. How many people here have seen arrows with warning labels? If you have, put a one in the in the thing. If you haven't, put a two. Because I'm gonna show you something which is it just you know makes me laugh every single time. Pepsi. I'm not even sure how many subscribers do I have. Can I get it? Nope, I'm still three away. Oh, four away. I lost one. So, okay. Yes, Jeff, we do have some stupid people. 
Um, and you, yeah, I showed you because I figured you'd get a kick out of it. Now, here, folks, check this out. This is very funny. Yes, it even has a website. These have 125 grain tips. I've never really shot carbon custom carbons at all, so it's the first time. And they should have seen their faces when I told them, yes, I want four fletch. Yes, I know you were here, Grace, when I did it. <laughs> but I do have some uh, somewhere in my stuff. I got set up for um, some new uh, broadheads that I picked up a while back. I'm not sure if they're maybe available right here. But in the middle, that's the fishing arrow. That's not it. That's Ian's arrow. I'm not even sure why that's even in there. Oh, this is just one of Ian's that Ian found. Not one of mine. I have some hunting ones in there somewhere. With uh, a broadhead that I picked up at a second hand. Oh, I think I got it. Oh, yeah. Deal with that. Here's my broadheads that I picked up at a secondhand store a while back. They're going to be really good for when I go deer hunting and or turkey hunting. Yes, I know you have, Grace, but I plan. Someone asked me a question once if I could get a life time supply of something for my archery stuff of the last thing you bought. I go, nope, got bow, enough bows, just need a lifetime supply of arrows. See, I even got a fishing arrow. This needs a new tip. So... Yes, those are our, probably veins. Um, I don't use veins. They're probably like these. These are veins. Not wrinkly like this, obviously. Uh, this is actually from another arrow that I have. I'd need to take this off and trim off the excess thing. This one used to have feathers on it, but I will trim this down and get it to fit properly. But veins are fine. Not bad. Um, it's always good to have spares. Um, as any archer will tell you, if you don't break or lose arrows, you're doing something wrong. <laughs> I prefer feathers over veins just because as I'm a traditionalist. Yeah, that might be. Yeah. Lose. <laughs> I can't tell you how many arrows I've lost over the years, Cecilia. Yeah, I mean, literally, it's just. It must be in the thousands. And everybody has their preferences on feather types, fletching types. Uh, some people prefer veins. Some people prefer feathers. And there's different lengths as well because, I mean, I prefer a longer 5-inch feather. And when I was telling people about the... Uh, Four flesh, which people say, doesn't that slow your arrows down? 
Yeah, but I also shoot a 74-pound longbow, and it doesn't slow it down quite at all. Because, I mean, I was still doing 185 feet per second uh, with my new arrows, with my 74-pound uh, longbow. I'm not a bowyer, but the bowyers make bows. I did acquire a really nice piece of ash yesterday. So, yeah, I would. I'm work. I haven't work, learned how to make bows yet. Arrows, I can. I'm working on, and bowstrings, I can do. I want to be honest. I don't. I mean, I, I would love to be a bowyer, but I just don't have the places for it. I understand, Cecilia. You could do what like Jenny does. I mean, she can shoot, and she's got a really good eye and everything. But her preference is not bows; it's crossbows. And she's really, really good. She's um, I'm faster, but she's more accurate with a crossbow than I am. More say no. Reverse that. I'm more accurate. She's faster with a crossbow. Because I shoot more often than she does. And if you guys are wondering what I'm doing, I'm trimming off the excess glue off these arrows. It depends on which ones you're looking at, uh, Cecilia. Um, I understand the ones there in Canada may be out of your price range, but you may want to see about getting something shipped to you from overseas or, in this case, in the States. Because Jenny um, looked at when we were, we stopped off at Cabela's while we were up at Yellow River over by Prairie du Chien, where the Cabela's actually is. And uh, that's in Wisconsin. Though, no, 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 no. Cecilia, stay away from those. Those are not accurate or powerful enough for anybody to use. They are um, not safe. Hey, Freezer Brown, how you doing, brother? Priester Brown is an archer as well, I believe. Um, like I, I, I'm sticked by my, on my statement on the the, hand, the little handheld crossbows. You could barely hit the broad side of the barn from the inside with one, because I think that the bolts that come with them are too light if you up the pounded you know the stiffness and length of the bolts might be able to increase the accuracy but i can't guarantee that since i am not a person who uses into crossbows i'm just going by my personal experience with what i have used well cecilia is looking to get a crossbow or something like that for protection uh, she's from Canada, and she was thinking about the handheld crossbow, but I'm not a fan of those. So what's your opinion, brother? I mean, you might have a better opinion than I do. I am not an expert in crossbows whatsoever. Yep. I've got my ar arm guard on. I've been sure. Oh, Freezer, I didn't know if you saw them or not. Check out these, brother. I don't have my broadhead on here showing yet, but... Oh, yeah, here we go. 
check these out. probably could Cecilia um, but like I said I am no expert on crossbows I know longbows recurves take down longbows take down recurves but that's my area of expertise I've even used horse bows well maybe you can right now I am trying to did I get it? Yes, I did. If you guys are, like I said, I'm just trying to clean up a, an arrow to get some, put some new fletching on. Um, I can repair arrows. I just, like I said, I, I used to have a really nice fletcher, but I lost, one of the pieces kept on breaking on me. So I'm thinking about going from the Joe Jan. Uh, you had a Joe Jan for years, used it. Worked really decent, I guess, for a while. But I'm thinking about upgrading to the Bitsenberg model because I think it would work better. Yeah, I won my arrows Oh, the shabs anyway, and the inserts at the Iowa Deer Classic this year. I had to pay to get them bletched. And you should have seen the, the faces on the archery shop that I went to to get it done because I didn't, like I said, I didn't have my setup for doing four fletch. He goes, why are you doing four fletch? Because I want four fletch? I got a, a set of them, uh, cedar arrows that way. And I love the way they shoot. The stability factors, everything. I, they're about 430 grain with with the 125 grain uh, feel points. Thank you, Don. Uh, also, Freezer, just to let you know, I am doing a giveaway on Thursday. The entry for said giveaway is on my last Thursday's live stream. Uh, there's a wor code word I, I s stated in that stream that you must post in the comment section below the that same video and you'll be entered to be when a try to win I guess the a dragon steel striker for flint and steel. And as soon as I get done doing this, I will show it to you, everybody again. And if anybody has any questions about it, let me know. Um, okay, let's see if this works. Oh man, I got to get some acetone. Hey, South Florida. Yes, I take a first aid kit with me south everywhere. I actually, I picked up a really nice one from Walmart for seven bucks. And it has a ton of stuff. And I mean, it's packed. And as a former armor me medic, I when I say it's packed, it's packed. I generally take a first aid kit with me whenever I go shoot anyway. Not for me, but for everybody else. Here, let me show it to you. 
freezer. First of all, it comes in, yes, it's a pancake canvas bag. I do a lot of rendezvous, so I thought it was appropriate. And it, yes, it does come in an Altoids 10 because a lot of people make their own char cloth. Which I did include some char cloth. So you got a box you can make your own char cloth. It comes with a really nice piece of chert. Not, not flint because Iowa doesn't have flint. We have chert. Here is the striker. Dragon headed, as you can see. Nice striker made out of a file. You could use it for sharpening your blades if you need to. You could use it as a blanket pen if you have a decent pin. You could use it as protection if you really needed to. A little small for my, my hands, but this is the giveaway I'm giving away on Thursday during my live. Uh, in addition to the striker, the chert, the char cloth, which I'm putting inside the Alto X10, I also am giving away a small bag of that would go along with it. The bag you could use to put it in your your bird's nest for your whatever fire starting materials you want to acquire along the way. And you can just carry everything in a nice little canvas bag. I understand that myself there, so. <laughs> you say that for all the stuff I got there, Cecilia. Now, if you guys want to see mine, I did bring mine over here. This is my possible pouch. This is not part of any giveaway. This is my personal stuff I'm not doing anything with. My Hudson Bay tobacco tin, thanks to Grace. She's amazing. Hey. Comes with a magnifying glass. And I have used this and it does work for starting fires. My fire steel is the C style type, not the enclosed type. This is mine. A lot cruder in its construction, but it fits my hand much better. <laughs> oh, I'll be on for a while. Freezer, no doubts. I wish you luck on the tobacco because tobacco has more uses than smoking. Yeah, Freezer, wait till you see the third next week's giveaway. But this is my striker. This thing will last me for years. And I got a you know nice piece of shirt. I even have a little piece of fat wood in here. I got some char cloth in here and I got me a broken arrowhead in here. Be well, brother. See you soon. Oh, I understand that, Cecilia. All I am going to say on that subject, for those who do partake in tobacco, be safe with that stuff because I lost my mom to smoking. I am a non-smoker, always have been, the only one in my family not this particular family, my other one, the regular one, not the other one, uh, the one I don't hang out with. Yeah.
Be well, brother. Talk to you on Facebook. Yeah, like I said, this is my favorite arm guard because it actually fits really, really well. Oh, hon, he's got his tinsel ball. I take it he wants to play. Yeah. Night, brother. Take care. Okay. Now, um, if anybody has any archery questions, please feel free. I'll answer as best I can. Um, if anybody has any questions about the giveaway, I'll answer those. Uh, if anybody wants to talk about, want to come on up and talk with me, you know, you're more than welcome to. I will post the link right here and you can join me up here and we can help start a dis these you know, interesting discussions on pretty much anything for the most part. Uh, I'm not sure. Have you been to a Renaissance fair before, Cecilia? I know they have them in Canada. I'm not sure if they've opened them up enough to have them in Canada right now, but My dad used to smoke one. Hey, Amanda. Thanks for coming. I will see what I can do, but I'm I'm not a smoker. Like I said, I have my uh, my apprehensions about those, but yeah. Amanda, I realized something when I was talking to JV the other day. On Monday, I think. Oh, actually, yesterday. I was on yesterday. No, Sunday. It was Sunday, right? Sunday. I'll see what I can do, Cecilia, though. Okay, I'm not sure if Amanda heard my question or not. Well, I'm gonna. Oh, was, huh? You need an yeah, but I wanted her to, yeah, you know, see if she, you know, heard me or not. Because I wanted, I was talking to JV, and I just realized something. Yeah, give me a second here. I'm going to do this real quick. Spiel. Okay. So, how you doing, Amanda? How you doing, Don? Cecilia, obviously, as usual. Jeff, sorry, brother, you went already left. I don't know if Evan's still here. Rogue's been popping in and out. Welcome back, Rogue. Love you. Uh, let's see here. Uh, I love archery. Um, let's see here. What else? Uh, so who else is here? Freezer Brown was... Gone. He's going to be back. South Florida. Are you still here? Let me know. Uh, oh, well, if things work out and JV is going to come down and do some fishing with me this weekend, which means that puts you in my general vicinity where I might be able to meet you in person in the future. That's my realization. Because I talked to JV on Sunday during one of my last lives. Thank you, Don. I really appreciate it. I lost a, quite a few subscribers 
recently, and I'm trying to get them back. I am now four away from a thousand again. It's okay, Cecilia. Well, I understand that, but it's still an opportunity to finally meet her in person. That's all I can say. Which means I can teach her some archery stuff. Because uh, I, I might make that, if this thing works out for the archery thing I'm planning for next month, I could probably do it a year, make it a yearly thing. You know, I'm kind of beep up in here. I was showing off my my arrows. Be awesome to meet you as well. Um, I can teach you how to shoot. I'm better than average, but not amazing. I met the person who was amazing. I don't think I could ever beat him. Uh, if things work out and JB does not go to Wisconsin next weekend, he and I are going and his girls are going fishing this weekend. You're most welcome anytime. So, uh, archery is one of the things I you know, I do say that I'm decent. I'm better than average at. So, I've talked about my archery stuff. I've talked about the giveaway. I want to talk with somebody out in here about anything else. So, if you're will, if anybody's willing to come up, please do. I've got. Plenty of airspace to fill up, and my voice only does so much. But I haven't run my wife into the bedroom yet, so that's a good sign so far. It is 9 o'clock. No, I did not say, see uh, JB's crossbow. We used to have a really nice 63-pound um, medieval crossbow that J Jenny and I got for a wedding gift when we got married. Some jerk stole it from our tent when we were at a, a fair, while we were out to supper. Where'd Matt go? Well, he might be back on the front porch. Am I talking to myself? Am I looking at dead space? Let me know. Film at 11. Oh, that'd be you and Jenny about yarn, Cecilia. That is a, this is not yarn talk. This is, you know, my channel. We're going to call it wine and wine. Wine. Wine and wine yarn. Jenny says she can do a chat and she's going to call it wine and wine. Wine and wine. No, hun. You can also do wine. That's a 
that's what I meant. Oh, yeah. Oh, Jenny said, uh, "Would you do it? Would you do a YouTube channel for that?" Sure. Hey, there you go. A new channel might be opening up soon, folks. Wine and wine and yarn. So it's about wine and yarn. Hey, Tamara, long time no see. How you doing? It's sort of like a stitching bitch, but it's a wine and wine. Cecilia says, "Wine and yarn." That would be a good channel. <laughs> Oh, man, you'd be popular, love. You'd have to do new wine every week. Yep. But you have to keep this wide. I'm trying, okay? <laughs> I give you all my free samples. You know that. But I claim the, the whiskey stuff for trade. Oh, yeah. And I get free wine. I mean, I just got this one not too long ago. It's a, cab. It's a 2018 cab. Rodney Strong cab, so it's not too bad, I guess, from Sonoma County. Huh? But that's for you to try, love. I got two of those. Tamara, just to let you know, I am doing a giveaway on Thursday, this th coming Thursday, for a flint and steel strike. Here's the bag is coming in. And yes, it is a pancake mix bag. Because back in the day, when I do since I do rendezvous, this is what everybody used. And it comes into an Altoids tin, which you can make char cloth in. It comes with a good piece of chert, because they don't have chert here in Iowa. Some char cloth. And give me a second here. A small bag of cutwood. But here's the, the the prize on 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 Thursday. A dragon headed steel fire striker. It's got made from a file, as you can see. You can use it for sharpening your your knives, starting your fires, a blanket pin if you have a decent pin or nail or whatever you have. And for those people who wanted to, you can use it for defense as well. This is more enclosed things, but it, mine's a lot, I like mine better because it fits my hand. Yes, it's for, made from a confetti ma pancake mix. Uh, Jenny and I picked it up somewhere and I started using, after we had the pancakes, we got I kept the bag and I figured if it's if you're going to do uh, do rendezvous and stuff like that, that's the kind of stuff back in the day, 1800s, that people used what they had. And you can use this for uh, putting in your bird's nest, your tinder bundles, whatever you want to, you know, your extra fire starting materials in here and carry it with you. You know, throw it in your pocket, throw it in your backpack, whatever. In order to enter... To win that you go to my thursday's last thursday's live stream in that live stream at the end i will say a word that word you must post in the comment section below not the chat but the comment section below that word and you will be entered to win the striker now you will have to be must be a uh, Knock set it, or what do you want to call it? Hook set it, or whatever you want to call it. Subbed to my channel. You must be present. That does not mean you have to be an active talker. If you're in the chat listening, that counts. Um, but as long as I can be able to contact you during that live stream to get your contact information when I do the drawing, whoever wins, I don't care who does, it's one of those things. And um, I will get that off to you as soon as physically possible. Yep, that's, I mean, it works, Mike, doesn't it? And uh, like I said, the confetti pancake mix thing is just really cool. You know. 
And the, the pancakes was mix wasn't too bad. And there's the brand. Yep, you can add jute as well. There, I have um, 15 people entered so far. I don't know who else. Let me see here. I got my phone here. Let's see if I got it here. trying to find let's see here uh, copy that one Let's see how many I got here I'm just doing a precursor check on see who's how many comments we have so far total 15 entries so far so you got everybody has a chance thanks Don I think it's pretty cool too and if you want to enter go to that thing uh, if one of my moderators could please post the link to that particular live stream I would greatly appreciate it uh, that way people can go there watch the video post um, post it in here for people can enter thanks Cecilia I really appreciate it yeah when I went backpacking I came back and I apparently lost about 30 uh, subscribers unfortunately Let's see, unless I already have it up here. Come on, where's it at? Come on, move. There you are. I think that's the link. And if anybody's interested in coming up, I would greatly appreciate that too. I think that you'll... Amanda, this is Don. Don, this is Amanda. <laughs> and that's Tamara. That's Grace. That's Mike. That's Will. I see you, Will. You're lurking back there. Oh, I understand. Man, that's fine. I've actually done one live via phone, and it was not pretty. Oh, I can understand that, Tamara. We ex have exactly two plants since we moved in here. And one is from our previous place, and that is a aloe vera plant that just won't die. And the other one is a tomato plant that we were given. I'm glad I didn't lose you, Tamara. But uh, I'm not sure if you saw the striker and thought, I don't know what you thought about that if you're into that kind of thing. It's more of like a bushcraft item and stuff like that but it's a dragon headed it's cool looking it comes with some gear i don't i do have some jute i could probably add maybe i have to figure out where i put mine um yeah but mine i keep mine my gear in my possible bag here so there's that
Thank you. I really appreciate it. I thought it would make a really good giveaway item when I bought it. <laughs> I know, Cecilia, but you got to win it first. But like I said, if I can find another one, if you're still interested in it, I'll see what I can do. Now, I do have another giveaway I'm going to be doing next week. I will be posting the word for that one on my Thursday's live, end of Thursday's live. And that will be for this bag right here. This is an Eagle Creek travel gear bag. It is a combo bag. You can, it looks like it could be a you know, regular suitcase. But if you unzip this, it becomes, let me find the zipper for it. It has YKK zippers. One of the best zippers on the market. A really nice backpack. The straps are very su supple. They're, it's very comfortable. It's very adjustable. Once you move that, I mean, this thing fits my big fat body. So, and it comes with a secondary day pack, which you just unzip and you can take that with you too. That's for next week, though. Exactly, Mike. Yeah, Jenny's going through physical therapy too, Amanda. Well, if you want to do it, you like that. You know, I'm more of a get them from the distance kind of guy. That's the reason I like my bows. Jenny's been going through physical therapy for her both her elbow, which she broke, and her knee, which she didn't. I call her curb check for a reason. Don't I love? Love? Tell them why I call you curb check. Every time I injure myself, a curb is involved. How many times? Four or five? Huh? Four times, yeah. She's broke her ankle, tore, stretched ligaments, shattered her ankle, and uh, whatever the last one was. Oh, yeah, she tripped over uh, the curb and broke her elbow. Ooh, bursitis. Ooh, not, not good. Jenny's got arthritis in her knee. I do too, but I don't. I just ignore it most more than she does. Yeah, she's also got it in her toes too. Mike, do you actually have of um, chert, or do you actually have flint? I want, I'm curious to know. Also, on a secondary note on that one, since you're from Florida, I do know there's a lot of uh, shark, fossilized shark teeth there. I just wondered if that would work. Mike's wife says, uh, curbs have been a dangerous minefield for his wife, too. No. You gonna go brush your teeth and go to bed? What's wrong with your toe? Oh, okay. Are you going to be okay? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to be tucking my wife in a, in a bit once she gets done going to the back. Brush, taking care of her or something. What, love? Okay. 
So anybody else have anything they're interested in talking about, asking me questions about um, archery? There's some things I still don't do. I mean, I'm still getting, I'm getting into bow fishing. So at least it'll get me one step closer to being a fisherman, according to my son. And um, let's see here. I was curious. If I did the drawing today, who would I have as a winner? Ooh, interesting. Okay. It's good to know. Now, my question for you, Mike, on your on your uh, your uh, available rocks to use, can you use fossilized shark's teeth to strike fires with your striker, or do you find arrowheads down there in order to do the same thing? Because I'm not sure. I know there's indigenous people there, or were there. There should be some arrowheads there. I've not done it yet. I, I've ordered the gear, with the exception of the arrow. I, that didn't come in when I wanted it. I got a fishing reel, bow fishing reel, but there's only one thing wrong with it. It's a right-handed reel. I'm left-handed. It doesn't do me a bit of good trying to reel in backwards. I don't want to have to do try to reel backwards and hold on my bow at the same time. Jenny's not in bed yet. She's going to give me, let me know when she's going. When you see me disappear, I'll let you know when I'm going to go tuck her in. I've not done jug fishing. I've seen people do it, but I've heard about it. Well, that's, that makes sense, Mike. Uh, I think a lot of the ones I have are uh, fake. I, I mean, I get them at craft shows and stuff like that. Yes, Amanda, that is that's exactly what it means. Okay, say say you're fishing. As you can see, this is my left hand. I'm reeling it backwards towards me. I don't want to do that when I'm when I'm bow fishing because it would go. This is the adapter for my bow. And this would go let me get this up here. I'm trying to see this because I wanted a clear one, but they didn't have clear. The only thing they had was blue. Oh, it would help if I actually turned this thing around, right? This would screw onto my bow, and I'd shoot my arrow, you know, click the button, shoot my arrow out, and then do it this way. But since I am left-handed, I would hold it in my right hand instead of my left hand, and be able on this side. So, there's that. And, by the way, <laughs> this is 
This is a JV connection. Um, JV is actually buying this reel off of me on this weekend. If he shows, if he if he doesn't go to Wisconsin, that is, if his Wisconsin plans fall through, he's coming here. If they don't fall through, he's going to Wisconsin. So, we'll find out on Saturday, but on Thursday, most likely. Noodling. I'm not sure if I'd want to stick my hand up a bank, in a in a hole. Which hand do you write with, Amanda? Well, he'll contact me on Friday, I think. If he, okay, then you would hold the bow in your left hand and you would reel with your right, just like you would a fishing pole. Exactly, Cecilia. Me, I am the other way. I hold my bow, in my my fishing reel in my right hand, and reel with my left. Me too. <laughs> but I've seen people do it. Yeah, you were. Did you wear a uh, chainmail glove, Tamara, when you went? Because a lot of people wear gloves when they do that. That way they don't get their hands chewed up. Okay, next question. You, the blonde in the back. What's your question? Okay, let me go get you one. I actually have one right over here. This happens to be my oldest recurve I own. The first traditional bow I ever purchased. This is a left-handed bow, folks. As you can see, this is a pistol grip style uh, grip. Center cut shelf. That's why it, this is what it means when it comes past center. This is a recurve. But it must be held in the left, right hand, because the arrow goes on this side. Now, if you were left hand, uh, right handed, it would be reversed. I actually met somebody when I was doing an archery competition who had the exact bow I had, but in right handed model. It was so cool. We were side by side. Nothing wrong with pink hair. I mean, mine is really long. <laughs> yeah, this is not a rat tail, folks. This is my hair. If you don't believe me, I will take it out of the braid and show you. Flip what over, Rogue? My bow or my hair? <laughs> but this is my this is my bow. This is the. The flipper rest rise, you know, arrow rest. And like this one here, this would screw in right here. I'm not sure if this will fit this one because this is a really old bow. Yeah, this is a little bit smaller than, yeah, that, this is too big for this particular bow. Well, maybe. 
Oh, this is too big for this one because this is a really old bow. This one here developed a twist in this limbs. That's why I don't use shoot it anymore. It works just right-handed. Mine's a left-handed bow only. I do have some dual-handled bows. Uh, I think I'm not sure if I got one in here or not. Let me take a look. Now, I do have a couple bows here. Both are long bows. This one, first one, is a Paul Bunyan 55-pounder fiberglass longbow. It does have a dual uh, arrow as you shoot from left or right-handed. Doesn't matter. Oh, that was the signal. I'll be right back. I will finish up when I get back tucking her in. Sorry about that, folks. Had to tuck in the wife. Okay. As I was saying, this is my pole bunion fiberglass longbow. This is the one I picked up off of eBay for like 15 bucks. Sniped a guy at the last minute. It's got artificial horn knocks. It, it does have a slight pistol grip to it. This is my right hand, but it can also be used in your left hand. Doesn't matter. So it's a really good one, pretty solid. The other one I was getting ready to show you is this one. 
you guys may not know what this one is, but this is my 100 pound longbow. There's the tips. And yes, it does have a cork grip. It does not have a shelf. And if you look a little closer, you can probably see my finger grips on this one. Actually, it goes this way. <laughs> um, I shoot off my, my hand with this one. This is one of my prized possessions here. I don't shoot this one very often because I don't have the arrows that will handle it. What do I, what do I miss? What do I miss? We can always get you another bow, Amanda. Bows are easy to come by, especially compounds. Now, traditional bows, a little tougher. Man, you're just going to have your own channel here soon. You can get on Je Jenny's wine and wine talk. You guys be talking about yarn and all this other fun stuff. I will be ending my live stream at 10 p.m. And I'm going to see what else. If anybody else has any more archery questions, please let me know. I am going to answer them to do the best of my ability. Well, it's going to be Jenny's channel, so I am not into yarn. I have been the benefit of some said yarn, but I am not into yarn. Because I like my stocking caps when I go hunting. So, I also like my um, my caps, but they don't keep my ears warm. I wear a uh, Carhartt knit cap in my hunt just because it's, uh, it's very, very warm. Be well, Rogue. Thank you for coming. Work's been going really well. I've been working nine out plus hours a day. Yesterday, I had the smelliest job I've ever had. I was at the dump all day, getting rid of uh, expired product. Twelve tons of it. Hey, Hat Creek, how you doing? Not even close, Tamara. We have so much stuff that we have to... When we got out of the old place, we were like in a hurry. So we just kind of threw stuff together and threw it in boxes and all this other stuff. So we're unpacking slowly. Uh, at the rate we're going, I feel we will be done right before we have to move again. <laughs> but we are cleaning up things to go and unpacking as we go. It's definitely going to be that for you. It'd be a, definitely an eye opener. I like I said, I like my stocking caps. Like I actually, I carry it with me wherever I go. My boy snagged it when we were at uh, backpacking last week, week before last. Sorry. Yes, the storage unit is emptied out. I emptied that out right before I left for my trip. 
I actually had to postpone my trip three days because of it. I pushed it back and I didn't get there until Sunday, the 4th of July. Um, even though I wanted to be there on Saturday, you know, I wanted to be there Friday, but th things didn't work out. So how you doing, Hat Creek? I'm kind of outnumbered right now, as you can tell. And I know I am it's definitely outnumbered today. Oh, we're, uh, I'm, oh, yeah. The stuff in the house we, we brought in because we knew what we needed. There's stuff in the garage that I have to go through and get ready to do our, we want to do a garage sale before the end of the year. And I just, then they started making, working me 10, uh, nine to 10 hours a day at work. And that was been really tough. And it's supposed to be our slow season. Yeah, Jenny broke her arm, elbow right before we started moving, and I had to do a lot of the moving by myself, and that made things really, really tough. Then we lost, you know, wasn't able to get into this place for a month, a little over a month, so that was tough. Same here, Cecilia. I would get my 10 acres. Set up my archery range, have a pond, wind turbines, solar panels. If the proper creek, even some, it'd be a hydro system too. Do also do geothermal on top of everything else, then I'd be set. What's the best brand of rowing compound? Okay, uh, Amanda, I cannot answer you on the compound bows. I can do, it's all subjective anyway, uh, according to the person on the bows. I prefer traditional bows, like some of the ones you said, long bows, recurves. Um, I like takedown models because they're packable and that's really cool. I mean, I can pull every bow I have out and it all depends on what's comfortable to you. I mean, you got to go by according to your budget and your ability. I mean, I my go-to go recurve is only a hundred and Twenty-nine to one hundred and forty dollars, and that is a Samick Sage. It could be you can get the model in left or right-handed. It can go from the draw weights from thirty-five pounds all the way up to sixty. It's budget-friendly. You can get it in any. You, know, you can get it in Australia. I do know they sell it there, um, just under different brand names, but it's still the same bow. I don't have any thing for the for the drawings for Powerball or anything like that. I'm not even sure what it is here right now. Let me check. Mm -hmm. no, where, 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 there it is. 
Oh, what happened? Let me check here. Let's see here. What, what is they up to now? 161 million. Eh, cash option, 116 million. Yeah, that's reasonable. I can do a lot with that. Oh, I definitely do that. I do, but I still have to figure out a way to get across the border there, Cecilia. I don't have a passport. <laughs> Never needed one until, you know, recently. I hope you get it. I really do. Jenny would make me get a uh, pop-up camper, though, because um, she, she doesn't like sleeping on the ground as much as I do. Yeah, it wasn't if it wasn't until recently when you know the last couple of years when you actually needed a passport to go to Canada, which was really sucky. I can travel all over the United States, probably, probably, yeah, even up to uh, Canada uh, to um, Alaska if I really was determined. But I, I'd have to fly out to Hawaii though. Yeah, that's that's the only thing that's really sucky, that you know your driver's license was good for everything. Now it's not. Okay, I've got about thirteen more minutes until I'm done with this live stream. Um, I will be probably popping in later on this week, periodically, uh, to see if anybody else is interested and in see if I get some more people who are going to be hopefully joining us in the drawing on Thursday uh, for the Fire Striker, um, the Dragon Striker, I should call it. Um, I'm just getting really tired. Gonna be, I've had a really rough couple of days. Um, I'm not sure if you guys caught what I did yesterday. I had to dispose of some expired and bad product yesterday at the one of the local uh, landfills and I had to do it all by hand using a hand pallet jack and myself over 12 tons of material I had to dispose of that would be to totally totally awesome um, I have enough to get that don't I yeah I do uh, I'll try to pick up a ticket tomorrow no, I do not have a gold star on my license. What does that mean, Tamara? I got a five-year driver's license or six-year driver's license. I never, you know, they didn't have gold stars. What does that mean?
Okay, well. Glad to hear it, Will. I'm glad you're safe. Oh, wow. 85 bucks? That would you got lucky, Will. That would could have been more expensive. Oh, wow. Thanks for letting me know, Will. I really appreciate it. Yeah, I'm, but I have to renew my, my driver's license next year, so I'm probably going to get it then. Okay, I'm the first I've heard of it, so I'm looking at it, so. Okay, I'm just like, sorry, I'm just looking up something.
Okay, sorry for being quiet. Okay. Yeah, I was, I didn't even know about it until you mentioned it. I just doing some research on that. I've got to get a replacement birth certificate because I can't find mine. I will be, ooh, I got three more minutes. Okay, I will do some research on that, and I'll probably update mine next year when I get my new my license renewed. But I will be leaving out of here in three minutes. Uh, thank you all for coming. Thank you, Will, Tamara, Cecilia, Don, Amanda, and Don again, second God, and Evan, and South, and Patrick. And everybody else, Grace, definitely Grace, Rogue, who else am I missing? Mike, definitely Mike. Thank you for coming. Uh, let's see. And so many that I can't remember. Oh my gosh, I feel like a dummy. Okay. But I'm going to say I love you all. Thank you all for coming. I will be on later this week. Don't forget Thursday, Amanda, for the drawing. Be well. Night, Dawn. Thank you for coming. I'm gonna just gonna cut it out at the one minute mark. So good night, everybody. I'm heading out. Good night, pleasant dreams, and bless me, whoever you follow, protect and guide you.